My name is Ryan. I am a partner solutions architect with Amazon Web Services, and I'm going to try and give you some of your money back if you are running Cloud Foundry workloads on top of Amazon Web Services. Uh, main challenge that I'm facing is, is customers coming up to me and voicing concerns around costs. So here are four very, very quick things you can explore to do cost reductions and cost management. So not a entirely new concept, but a, uh, one that seems to have been forgotten. And my presentation pointer has decided to hit me. Uh, reserved instances. The reserved instance platform is a, a, a contractual solution. It is a ability for you to go into the Amazon console and say, I want to purchase a reserved instance. It is a contractual cost reduction on the infrastructure workloads that you're running. Uh, 2014, we introduced uh, a, a very difficult model of that in that you had to buy a reserved instance that matched the instance type, the OS platform, the location that that system was running in in order to leverage that, that cost reduction. What we've done rather recently is we've diversified our reserve instance model. So you can now go and do things such as, I want to buy a reserved instance for a year in which I get a cost reduction, or I can go into a three-year plan in which I get a greater cost reduction. I have the flexibility of changing those reserved instances with more ease than I had in the past. So what we had in the past was customers purchasing a reserved instance, they would get a cost reduction, and then something in their business would change or evolve, and the discount agreement didn't match up with their workload and they no longer got the discount. Now what you can do is you can, you can change those. You can bundle them together. So in a, a customer context where they're running small workloads and they've gone and bought a reserved instance for, say, a T2 micro, and then their business model changes and they need something like a T2 small, in the past they would have to sell that reserved instance, buy a new one. Now what you can do is you can buy the slightly larger one and you can run multiples of the smaller ones. So I can purchase a reserved instance for a T2 small and run two T2 micros as an example within that cost reduction. One of the things I do want to draw your attention to, up to 70% discount through a reserved instance. Uh, if I draw your attention to these plans here very quickly, with zero upfront investment, a cost reduction of 38% off of the on-demand price straight away. If you pay a little bit more in upfront, so if you have got funds that you can do this with, you can get a greater discount. If you have a clear understanding of your workload and that workload is not going to change dramatically, so you have a benchmark of the infrastructure that you require, you can go ahead and purchase up to three years in advance. Uh, I would advise against locking yourselves into a three-year uh, agreement here if you don't have a benchmark on your infrastructure cost, rather than dabble, play around, and then make a call on the platform. Uh, spot instances, very quickly, spot instances, the ability to launch platforms on a bid price, and I just want to show you the top over here in Bosch, defining an on-demand instance, and immediately below that, spot instances, where you define the bid price, and when infrastructure becomes available, and you can get it at the price that you want, it launches and consumes those particular platforms. Right. Thank you very much. Two very simple things, reserved instances and spot pricing to cut down the billing on your CF platforms. Go have a look at them. Very quickly, do we have uh, any questions, things, grab me at the back and uh, I'll dig into those.